Hello there. Welcome to LSE Tutorials. This is Sheldon again. Today, let's talk about the unit test in Objective C, and uh, let's get started. So there's two way to import the unit test into our project. The first one is when we create one project, we can include the unit test target when we try to create it. Like if you can click the include unit test here. In this case, we will include the unit test target. But if we forget to do this, we can do this later. Let's call it unit test basics. And we will use objective C to finish this. So now we can see we don't have the unit test target. So we can um, use file new target. And then here we go to the test and choose unit testing bundle. And click OK, OK, OK. And then now we have this unit test file. So what is unit test? Unit test is the test tool to test our code by unit. Usually we take one function or method as one unit and uh, we do the test for it. So uh, we imported the XC test tool. This tool came from Xcode 6 and uh, the main methods inside of it is uh, starting with uh, XC test or sir. Okay, so uh, let's create one simple method. Okay, starts with void. Let's say update string. So this is our method, and uh, we will. Uh, we will define a property here let's call it string 1 and here update string 1 and in here, let's do the updation. So self dot string one is equal to string one. Okay. So um, and we can yeah. In this case, we can test this method. So if we go back to the unit test basic test dot m file, we can change the method here. So all the test methods here that you will create um, has to start with lowercase test and then you can change the name after it. So let's say test string updation update. Yeah, this is it. And we remove this, we remove this. Okay, so the first step is we need to import the header file of the one um, file that we want to test, so which is the view controller. And after this, we need to create one instance of this view controller. So let's say property vc to test is equal to view controller. Uh, yeah, sorry, I mix with Swift. So we need to define the property as in this way. And in the setup, we can instantiate. So we say to test is equal to view controller uh, 
a log init okay so how can we do the test if we um so we want to check if the property is updated or not so first we um we can set up a string as our expected string to be we know we're gonna have this uh, string one so we can use vc to test and invoke our method which is update string so we have to make our method to be public and invoke our method called update string here and after this update we will have the um, and a string result string equal to vc to test dot string one. So in here we can um, use the method called xct assert. Since we are testing two, if our if two of our uh, strings are equal, so we cannot directly use this xct assert equal. Instead, we need to use equal objects in object you see. So here we use our uh, expected string and result string. And we, if you if you want, you can put some description like testing. up the string okay so after this we can click this little diamond or hold the command and hit u for unit test um the x code is showing that testing here and blah 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 and we can see that test case passed if we change this like to string 2 in this case the test will not pass because we know the two strings the first one expected string and result string they are different okay so let's get back to the correct one so, um, yeah, actually we have uh, multiple way to do this test, like uh, assert true, and inside of this, yeah, let me actually first let me test again. I mean, this is so annoying. You cannot get rid of it even if you clean. Okay, so now it's good. And inside of it, we can use expected string is equal to string result string. So we can st use this as well. Um, basically, we're, we're going to do the same thing. And, and now let's do some math test. Okay. So let's say update integer one. And we're gonna put a property called integer. Yeah, we cannot. Okay, let's use NS. Um, 
number. Okay. Um, number one. Okay. So the method is called void update integer one. Okay. So self dot number one is equal to s number number with integer. Let's say seven. Okay. And then if we go back to the unit test, we can create another test case called test up um, integer update like s number or we can use int um, yes s integer is mm, expected int equal to 7 um, and we run this method called vc to test update integer 1 and we can have another ns or um, let's say ns integer result int is equal to vc2 test dot number one we can use type cast and after this, we can test xct assert equal and um, expected integer and result integer. Same if we hit command and u, we will be able to run the unit test. Okay, it seems uh, it's different because 7 is not equal to 114. Or we can use an integer value. Oh, sorry. Okay, in this case, this time it passed. Uh, so we can say if we type cost one ns number use int, the result is different. So this is the meaning of the unit test. You find out some unexpected errors. Okay, I think this is it. Um, this is enough for the basic of the unit test. If you want to see the high-level unit test for the background tasks, please uh, check our YouTube channel and there is one video called LS Unit Test Async Task in Objective-C. Thanks for watching.